I missed you and I hope everyone is doing awesome at home. Um, so today what we're going to do, or this week, uh, for your art time, is we're going to do a project based on Andy Goldsworthy. So Andy Goldsworthy, he does land art or environmental art. So what that means is that he does art that is out in nature. And he doesn't use anything that is found inside the house or anything that's made by a human. He uses things that are made out in nature, outside. So what that means is he's gonna go out and he's gonna find things out in nature like a pine cone. This is something that came off of a tree. He's not gonna use anything like a shoe because that's gonna be something that was made by us humans, not out in nature, right? So what we're gonna do to get started is sometimes when you're outside, you guys know the wind blows and it might blow some of our leaves or some of our pine cones or some of our sticks, things that we wanna keep in place. So we're gonna make something that's natural, almost like a glue um, that we can make and it will biodegrade, which means it will not stay forever um, because nature isn't made to stay forever. It's made to change as the seasons come and go. So what you're gonna need at home is you're gonna need a bowl, you're gonna need some sort of cup. It doesn't have to be a measuring cup, just any sort of cup. And you're gonna need some water and flour, okay? Um, any kind of flour will do. I have all-purpose flour here. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your flour, you're gonna take your cup, and you're going to just scoop out however much of that cup you want. I'm using a quarter cup here. Um, because I'm not gonna use a lot. I don't need a lot of glue. Um, so I'm gonna take my flour, I'm gonna put it in my bowl, make sure it all comes out there. And then I'm gonna go get some water from my sink. I'm going to fill up one of these as well. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I do one of these of flour for one of these of water. If you're using a bigger cup, you're gonna do a cup of that and then a whole cup of water. It's equal, okay? So I'm gonna get my water, take my water. It could be from the sink. This is just the water I have. And you're gonna pour it. There we go. Now, as soon as you've poured it in, it's gonna wanna stick together. You can use a whisk, um, which might be a little bit easier, or you can use a fork. Whichever you have at home, it works. So I'm gonna use my fork to show you guys that you can mix it up. And it's already gonna start to get pretty thick, which is awesome and you're just gonna keep on mixing it until it's formed a nice glue-like paste. Okay, so this is perfect. I barely had to mix it, and you can see there, it is like a nice thick So paste. I'm about to start my Andy Goldsworthy artwork. So first, when we're working with land art, we need to go outside right into nature um, and all you're going to need is you're just going to need to go on a little walk probably because not all of us have all these resources in our backyard that we can use to make our artwork um, so i'm going to go on a walk with um, my dog jack and all you're going to need is a plastic bag um, to collect your supplies and again try to only get things that are either already fallen on the ground um, or weeds uh, try not to pick leaves that are still living off of trees and things like that because we want to not destroy nature but honor it um, by doing artwork with Hi it. Hi guys, I hope that you uh, had fun collecting all of your art supplies for your Andy Goldsworthy project. Just make sure before you get started um, on setting up that you've already made your paste um, if you would like to make it so that if it's extra windy, um, your leaves and your flowers, sticks, twigs don't fly away so easily. And uh, make sure you watch the video on how to make this because you're not going to want to use like actual glue um, because we want it to just, when it rains, um, biodegrade back into the environment so we're not causing any harm. Make sure you also have um, a water since we're going to be outside. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Try to find a shaded spot that doesn't have a lot of people walking through it and stuff like that because that will mean uh, the less you'll have to get up and stop what you're doing and also the more likely that it'll survive. Um, you know, a few days without getting, uh, getting blown away. So, um, what we're going to go ahead and get started. When I got my supplies, I got so much stuff. I found a bunch of flowers that had fallen off um, and things like that. So I'm going to do something that's called a time lapse, which means it's going to go a lot faster than, um, than you're seeing me actually go. 
so that you get to see um, my art project. So make sure when you're creating that you keep in mind color, you keep in mind size, and you keep in mind some symmetry. Remember we talked about symmetry is what is a mirror image, the same on both sides. So you want something to either be symmetrical, make it even on both sides, or make it purposefully not symmetrical. For instance, I made mine as symmetrical as I could right here with my pine cones, but I purposely made it not symmetrical at the top. I just wanted the leaves at the top. I didn't want any leaves at the bottom. So I made that choice on purpose. So when you guys are finished with your Andy Goldsworthy artwork, I would love to see it. Uh, please send me some pictures or videos to uh, the email or Schoology. All right, have a great time creating, guys.